Welcome to Fun with Drilling Engineering. When we drill deep boreholes, we have many sensors down at the bottom end of the drill string, from which we get all kinds of useful information while drilling. These data are converted into a binary code of zeros and ones, and after conversion it must be transferred to the Earth's surface. One way of transferring these zeros and ones to the surface is using an underground siren that produces different tones. These tones are assigned to be either 0 or 1. For example, the low tone can represent 0 and the high tone can be 1. However, we have to face the fact that the high tones suffer a lot of dampening as they travel up the long drill pipe. Therefore, we can only work with very low tones and very low frequencies below 20 Hz. We cannot hear such low tones with our human ears. At most, we can sense some unpleasant vibrations. So as humans, we cannot hear what's going on in the drill string during data transmission. However, with some special software, we manage to make the low frequency pressure fluctuations audible. And this is what we want to demonstrate to you now. In our little experiment, we want to dive into the drill string and stop at different spots to listen to what we can hear in the drill string. Let's start at the surface in the standpipe where the pressure sensor sits. This sensor receives the data coming from the downhole siren and we are very close to the big mud pumps which are driven by several thousand horsepowers. These pumps generate a lot of hydraulic noise in the pipeline. If you listen closely, you will hear them. Now, let's listen. You can hear a lot of noise, of course. If we now dive deeper into the borehole, for example, some kilometers down, we realize that a significant part of those high frequencies have already been dampened out and we have a much quieter sound. Only the lower frequencies are left. Yeah, I think that was quite good listening. So now let's go further down to the drill bit. Here the high frequencies have all completely disappeared. And the only thing we can now hear is the soft stamping of the pistons of the pumps at the surface. Just listen. Yes, this is very obvious. Now we we'll switch on our siren. It will generate different tones. Let's hear how this siren speaks to us or sings to us. Listen. Yes, that's a very nice melody. So what will happen now with this information along its way up to the surface? Let's dive up halfway to the middle of the borehole. Here we know that the tones from the siren are already much quieter and the noise from the surface appears again. If we dive up further until we are back at the pressure sensor, we realize that the noise from the pump almost completely covers the signal from the siren and we can no longer recognize the signal. Just listen. So, this is where our scientists, mathematicians and physicists come to play. By applying some special algorithms, they are able to extract the signal from the noise. First, they smoothen the data. They eliminate all the sound waves which travel through the standpipe in the wrong direction. And they delete all frequencies that are out of the range of the mode siren and out of our data, data transfer. Now we will hear the outcome of these efforts. Listen. Wow, the siren does not sound anymore as it sounded down in the borehole. But the most important thing is we can clearly hear that it's talking to us. That means we can decode the data and we can display the results now on our screens. Well, you have certainly noticed that the data transmission in deep boreholes can become pretty complex if you go into details. And that is why we treat this matter in depth in our lecture Drilling Engineering 2 here in Freiburg. We'll be happy to see you here too. Look off.